Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. What is the eligibility requirements for food stamps in Minnesota? To determine if you are eligible for the Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, SNAP, in Minnesota, several key factors are considered. Residency and citizenship. You must be a resident of Minnesota and a U.S. citizen to qualify. However, non-citizens may also be eligible under certain conditions. Income limits. Your household income must be below specific limits. Most households must meet a gross income limit of 200% of the federal poverty level, FPL, while households with a member who has a disability or is age 60 or older must meet a net income limit of 100% FPL. Work requirements. There are certain work requirements, but these can vary depending on your situation. Some individuals may be exempt from these requirements. Household composition. The eligibility and benefit amount are also based on the number of people in your household who live together and buy food and prepare meals together. Assets. The home you live in and its lot are not counted as assets. Other assets like retirement and savings accounts and vehicles are also not considered when determining eligibility. Application process. To apply, you can fill out the combined application form online, in person, or by mail. If you are 60 or older, you can use the one-page Senior SNAP application. After submitting your application, you will need to participate in a phone or face-to-face -face interview with a county worker. Interview and documentation. During the interview, you will be asked to verify your identity and provide information about your income, assets, and housing costs. Acceptable documents for identity verification include a valid state-issued ID, birth certificate, or school work ID card. Processing time. Most applications are processed within 30 days from the date on your application. For emergency situations, benefits can be processed within 24 hours or five working days. Benefits and EBT card. If approved, you will receive an electronic benefit transfer, EBT card, which looks and works like any other debit card. Benefits are issued between the 4th and 13th of each month based on the last digit of your case number. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.